afternoon, everyone from Lisbon. We are here at the 6th HEACI um, ISMA meeting, and uh, we have the privilege today to discuss with Professor Luis Delgado uh, from the Department of Immunology in the Faculty of Medicine at the University of Porto, Portugal. And Professor Delgado is a leader in the field of occupational and interstitial Lyme diseases and uh, in the field of asthma. Um, today we are going to um, uh, talk about uh, his recent article uh, in the journal Allergy, a very interesting review on the emerging topic, uh, uh, the relationship between asthma and diet. Um, good afternoon, Professor, and thanks for being here today. So, um, could you please tell us what is the rationale uh, behind the assumption that dietary um, components can um, somehow influence asthma. Um, are there any relevant observation uh, supporting this concept? Okay, uh, of course, it's, it's, uh, asthma is an inflammatory disease and we have evidence that uh, uh, some of the components of our regular diet uh, are influenced this, this type of pathways. So, and this uh, uh, usually comes from, from evidence of epidemiological studies that are linking some, uh, uh, certain types of, of components of the diet that, that can influence uh, the, the inflammation, the prevalence, and even the severity of asthma. This came, came mostly from, from studies uh, all around the world, and, uh, uh, and uh, the idea is that, that was beyond this, this, this study, this uh, review, was a task force. We have a task force coming from some years ago that is linked to lifestyle intervention in asthma. We first deal with, with uh, obesity and uh, weight loss. This is the second part that is related to, to diet and, and nutrition and, and nutrients in your diet and, and the possible relation with, with asthma inflammation. And we'll finish with a third part, hopefully next year, on the exercise side, side of, of interventions, uh, reviewing the interventions of exercise in, in asthma. Concerning the diet, of course, there, there is a huge amount of information, mostly coming from epidemiological data, and also intervention studies in individual components. But these intervention studies in individual components of your diet, like antioxidants, like vitamins, vitamin A, C, E, uh, this type of, of interventions have, have uh, with individual nutrients, they've been a little bit disappointing with controversial results. So we focus not on the this type of studies of intervention with nutrients, but on the whole diet. And we had also in our research group some, some studies concerning the, 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 the relation to, to, to Mediterranean diet. So uh, that was the reason to, on this task force, uh, especially working with Vanessa uh, Larson in, in, in the UK, uh, in London, that, uh, and uh, Stefan Del Giacco, they were the main drivers of this, of this paper to review all this, do this evidence in, 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 the, in the literature. Thank you. Um, what, in your opinion, so are the dietary um, components suspected to affect asthma? And uh, at which stage of the disease? Okay, well, uh, we know that uh, se several components can influence at least uh, the several pathways of, of, of uh, inflammation. Uh, when, one is the, the, the oxidative stress, the, the antioxidants, and there is evidence that some natural antioxidants that are on, on your diet, flavonoids, for, for instance, can, uh, can uh, lower this oxidative stress. The other is, for instance, the relation to, to uh, 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 components on, on your diet, like uh, omega-3, omega-6, that can influence some pathways also of the, of the inflammatory uh, pathways, like arachidonic acid production. So that those are the, the, some of the uh, evidences that, uh, that came out from the literature. And uh, uh, as, as I said, we, we know also that the the, the, the type of the diet, not the components per se, can influence the, the, the prevalence and severity of asthma. We have several studies on, or have been published that the Western type of diet that is rich in lipids, in, 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 in processed meat, 
in, in sugars can increase the prevalence and severity of asthma, and on the other way, uh, uh, adherence to a Mediterranean diet can protect you from the severity and, and the prevalence of asthma. So th those are interesting uh, points, and, and that, that was one of the, 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 the evidence from observational studies that lead to make this, uh, this review uh, to, to, to get the evidence together. Very interesting. Last question. Um, what are um, the different mechanisms through which the dietary components can um, induce uh, the inflammatory responses in, in general, and in particular in asthma? Okay. Uh, well, uh, the, the, the most well known is, is the, the regulation of, of, of uh, the balance of some fatty acids on your diet. Uh, and uh, this is based uh, on the concept that uh, uh, the ratio of, of omega-6 to omega-3 on, on your diet that is recommended by the World Health Organization is uh, more or less 3 to 1. And, and you know, omega-3, everybody knows now it's uh, present on, on the Mediterranean diet, on fish that is not available to all people. And usually, uh, even in... Uh, in countries like the United States, this relation is, is completely wrong. It's 45 to 1, for instance. And we notice that even in, in the Western countries, people with low income have no access to, 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 this, uh, to this type of balanced diet. And, uh, and uh, this could be one of, of the, the, the ways that uh, the diet you know, could be one of the... the, the relevant components on the western type way of life that is increasing uh, is increasing asthma and allergy of course we also have experimental evidence of, of some models uh, experimental models that you can uh, induce uh, for instance in, in mice models of allergic asthma we had a paper published two or three years ago that you could induce uh, by, by a, a lipid rich diet, obesity in these mice, and they get worse allergic inflammation, more eosinophilic inflammation. And in, in that model, of course, it's a mouse model, but it's a classical mouse model of allergic asthma. We could show that also uh, some neurogenic inflammation was increased in this type of diet induced obese mice. So uh, there are several pathways that, that should be explored in the, in, in the future for, 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 for sure. In terms of the, of the, of the human uh, interventions, I, I think the way to go is to, to perform some randomized control trials on interventions on, on, on the food, not on specific components, but on the food with specific food patterns. And there is some, some of this work have been done already. We, in adults, uh, uh, a study from Australia showed that uh, increasing the vegetables, fresh vegetables in, in your diet can reduce the inflammation, not the outcomes, the, the basic outcomes of, of, of asthma, but symptoms or, or hyperreactivity, but at least the, the, some signs of reducing the inflammation was obtained. And uh, in uh, uh, Vanessa uh, Garcia Larson in, in, in the in, the, in London has, has done at least a pilot study of an intervention with fresh fruits in children. And, uh, and, uh, and she showed in this pilot study that it's possible to, to design such of a, a randomized control trial. But it's not easy, you know, because it's, it needs a power, it needs a lot of, of adherence to the diet. So these are the type of studies that we need now to, to perform and get funding for, to, to do for sure. Thank you very much, Professor Delgado, and thanks for your time. Thank you.